This is my first attempt to use Adobe Spark video. I think this could be really useful for students to make photo journals and videos in a trip that I'm going to be leading soon. And this will be trainingception as I experiment with it and try to put together a tutorial as I myself learn to use it. I'll be taking students to Israel and the West Bank and they all need to do final projects that present their experience. And so one of the things that Adobe Spark lets you do is to include text and icons that are searchable. And you can see here some that I chose from what they offer. Meg from the Center for Academic Technology at Butler University introduced me to this platform and showed me a few of the things that it can do. And now I'm trying it out for myself. If you have an iPhone or iPad, I'm using my iPad for this, you can take photos and then incorporate them into the video that you're making along with text. We called this Trainingception because this is a screenshot of the screen that I saw as I was making this particular slide. In addition to using your own photos, you can incorporate photos that you find that are uh, tagged as Creative Commons licensed so that the internet is full of materials and resources that you can incorporate. It can be hard to keep track of what you've taken a picture of and where, and so I'd like students to try out this new resource, Adobe Spark Video, and see whether it might be useful to them to actually make videos about their trip while they're on the trip, using photos that they take and commenting on them as they take them. Try it out and see if this will work for you.